Grey boundary predictions for GCSE physics. Don't trust anyone who says they know for sure, but this is what it's looked like for the last few years. So to get a grade nine over the last few years, you've been looking at getting around about 150 out of 200, around about 75%. This is for a grade nine, and I've excluded 2020 and 2021 because of COVID. Notice it's fairly stable. I expect to say a bit similar this year time round. It might even go up. There's a lot of talk about results trying to be more in line with 2019. That would mean it might go up a little bit higher to 156. I wouldn't expect it to go anywhere near above that because the papers are fairly similar this year to what they have been in terms of difficulty. This is what they were in 2024. So these are all the grade boundaries for all the different grades. As you can see, the intervals are fairly consistent. Like I said, they might be a little bit higher by a few marks or a bit lower. I don't think it'll differ by much more than that. And here are the grade boundaries for chemistry and biology as well. This is from 2024. So as you can see, they're a bit lower than physics. Uh, this is roughly what they normally are. They have been lower in previous years. Biology in particular, uh, 2023, it was only 132 marks. So about 66% or so um, for a grade nine. Um, chemistry had a bit of a low year in 2022 as well. I wouldn't expect them to be lower than this. Like I said, they're trying to match up a bit more with pre-COVID levels. In particular, combined science, um, as you can see here, this is out of 420 because there are six papers um, for worth 70 marks each for combined science. I expect them to be maybe fluctuate a little bit from this, um, but by, not by too much. So don't trust anyone who says they know anything about the grey boundaries until they come out. You can Google them from 8am um, on the exam board's website. They should be up there straight away.